A couple years ago, I ran this channel and built it up to over 900 subscribers. Then YouTube's algorithms started not liking it because I talked about stuff like politics, feminism, social justice, and race issues. I noticed that I was angry all the time. People weren't listening and they immediately judged me for what they projected they thought I was saying as opposed to what I was really saying. I got called all sorts of names. Although at the time the channel was monetized, I wasn't making any money because the topics I discussed weren't family friendly, which wasn't a big deal because I worked a full-time job. The channel had videos from the character Bloody Fissures as well as Elegant Harridan. Yes, I was both of those characters. But I kept going back to the fact that I was angry and unhappy all the time. So I let a very cool guy who made videos under the King's Fallen moniker take of the channel to share his content. He already had a channel, but I figured since the channel I had built already had over 900 subscribers, he'd get more visibility. King's Fallen is a really cool guy with a smooth as butter Scottish voice. Well, hey everybody and welcome back. Right. Today is not going to be one of my normal videos, I generally... Turns out the videos on his original channel got just as much or more views as the channel with more subscribers. But then Alexander King's Fallen stopped making videos too, which is soon going to change, I hope. So we talked, and since he's not making a whole lot of content right now, I would slide on over back to my original home on YouTube and see what I could do with it. For all the people who still want to see King's Fallen's content, you will be able to. I will leave a link below so you can go over there and subscribe. All of the videos from when he was making them for this channel will slowly start showing up over there on his main channel. So as far as the content you will now see on this channel, well, I'll leave a few of the videos up done by Bloody Fissures and maybe even resurrect some from Elegant Harridan, but for the most part, videos with me ranting about politics, feminism, race, social justice, and whatnot are a thing of my past. I've said all I can say. I'm tired of being so angry all the time. People from both sides weren't really listening anyway. Is this a retreat? Call it what you will, but at the end of the day, it's I who have to live with myself, and I can't live with myself being so mad all the time. Also, it's really hard talking about difficult subjects such as race and religion when you've got zealots from both sides shouting down your message too. My message has always been that all people have the potential to do great things and that all people should be treated in accordance with their merits. This message wasn't enough for the swastika and cross-bearing crowd, though. I just wasn't extreme enough to fit in basically anywhere. I deal with a lot of anxiety and sadness issues due to the things that have happened in my lifespan. I've noticed that year by year, my life keeps getting smaller, and it's about to get even tinier. I'm like a wolf. I like my tiny den, and I suffer no fools and need only a small pack or tribe to be happy. As I get ready to build my dream home, my big tiny van, I hope you will all still stick around and see what happens. If you aren't interested in things like growing indoors, fan life, tiny living, renewable energy, DIY projects, cooking, and other similar such things, and if you only want to hear gossip and heated debate about politics, gender issues, and society's constant discontent, you may want to bid me farewell. I'm not saying I'll never talk about these topics, but it will be rare. And it will be fact-driven and respectful. That means no cursing. <laughs> but if you want to see how life evolves when you focus more on love and peace, then stick around and welcome to Anne's Tiny Life.